Okay, I'm Tracy Barclay and I do the final restoration on uh, big beasties. Um, and Steve asked me to come along to help do the final painting work after they'd done the restoration. After, the, uh, after they've finished doing all the restoration, there's quite a few gaps and um, pieces of, you know, where, where they've filled in, etc. And this can really lead the eye to go straight to them and not to the actual magnificence of what you've got in front of you. So the best thing you can do is, is then paint in those bits just to blend in with the rest of it. And then you're actually looking at the whole piece then. The most important thing is, is the pre-preparation, which is done by other people. So if, if they, you don't need smooth finishes, you want the rock to look like, like the, the plaster that they put in to look like the rock. So that's really important that you have a really good preparator initially. And then after that, it's just a case of, uh, I start off doing a base layer and then I just keep adding layers look very, very closely at the anatomy of, the, uh, of what I'm doing and to check all the colours that I can see because most things, although they look brown, they actually have little bits of green and red and yellow and blue inside them. So it's a number of layers. The initial thing just looks really bad and then you slowly, but slowly keep adding more and more layers until you're happy with the result. And it is a skill that I can honestly say anyone can do. I don't have any um, professional grades or anything in this. This is something that I just took on about 25 years ago, uh, purely by accident. And yeah, I've just sort of got better as the years have gone by. But anyone can pick up a brush and do it. I took it on by accident because um, I, I was with uh, Chris Moore and he was, at, the, at that time he was doing his own final preparation which usually involved sort of all kinds, anything that was to hand including cigarette ash and all sorts of things and it kind of worked but I could, from a mile off I could see where all the restoration was done and I just basically one day said I can do better than that and there you go, that's where it all started. I mean, I have to be pulled away from jobs to say, right, that's enough, Tracy, because I, otherwise I would just carry on and on and on. Uh, I get it to a certain standard as quickly as possible so that if, if it's needed for photography or needed for filming, then it, it can be. Um, but it is a case, you know, all these things take a lot longer than you would think, but, um, you know, you, you do have to pull yourself away eventually and just go, that's enough, that's enough. To the public, the initial thing is you'll just see it and you'll go, wow, it's an amazing beastie. If you look very closely you, and you know what you're doing, you can see my restoration work very, very clearly. Um, it's just a case of taking the eye away so that otherwise the eye, all it sees is the cracks. And once the restoration work's been done, the, pa the paint work's been done, then you, you see the whole thing. Um, so I stand quite clearly that I, I think it's a really good thing to do. Um, and I know that all the professionals can definitely see my work the minute they, they know what they're doing. So There's uh, the Charmouth Heritage Coast Centre, there's the Attenborough Theosaur and uh, Raffle the Plesiosaur, both of which I did extensive work on. This is the best job for taking pride in, insofar as you see a piece originally and it looks a bit battered and it doesn't look quite so good and the end result you can stand back and and really feel that you've achieved something so that's the best part about my job is the standing back at the end that's all we've got for you today from the etches collection thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time